I'm Bob Boston, the CEO of Adaptive Mobility Systems, and we're here at our factory in Tucker, Georgia today, where we've been making handicap accessible minivans for about 25 years. But for the last couple of years, we've been building a wide-bodied B-class RV for people in wheelchairs called the Pathway. And I want to show you something very exciting today because we have a new wide-bodied B-class RV, not for handicapped people, but just for everybody, called the Max Van Root. Now, when I say wide body, here's what I'm talking about. First off, we start with the Ram ProMaster 3500, which is a, the best basis for the RVs from many companies. But what we do that no one else does is we pop out this side of the van nine inches with a steel structure to give you more room inside. Of course, we did it for the RV for the people in wheelchairs so we could have plenty of room inside, but that also allows massive amount of room inside of this van for normal people as well. Let me show you. First off, as we enter, we can see the kitchen. And the kitchen, of course, has microwave, 12 volt refrigerator, Italian yacht sink, your butane heater. Let me show you one really nice thing about that we've added in this. We have a drawer that is huge, comes clear out and will take 150 pounds. You can put all your food, anything you want in here, and it's it's all held up with German drawer slides. So that's really strong and really powerful. Then there's also a little nettings to hold small stuff on the outside. But what I want to show you is the way this van is laid out. Now we have what we call, what's everybody in the industry calls the north and south configuration of beds. That means they're going from the front to the back on both sides and they're permanent beds made up that can be used as couches or beds. But the difference in ours with this nine inch pop out is there's room. Normally when someone is in one of these and somebody else is on the other side, there's just absolutely no foot room for you. Your feet are totally on top of the other people. But look how much room there is in this van with me and someone else my size. Now, of course, you have a swing away table here that you can either eat on, use for a computer, reading, whatever. Now, that same seat, that same desk can be used in the right front passenger seat as well when the seat's turned around. But these are nice beds. They're very comfortable. There's real mattresses in here used by the company Purple. And also the most popular configuration of RVs today is this permanent bed with the bathroom in the back. And that's what we have here. We have a full bath in the back here that is totally separatable by this fully closing door. So you can close off your bathroom, which is always a nice thing. Secondly, in your bathroom, you've got cassette toilet, ceramic bowl, a little sink here that you can brush your teeth or wash your hands. And this one also has a really universal shower curtain that you can either cover up the toilet completely go around to sh for the shower or tie back completely and you'll notice we use a flush mounted floor system just like we do in the, in the rv that we make for people in wheelchairs because people like this there's nothing to trip over and it has a stainless steel trough with a beautiful teak grill so you can it can get wet all you want to. Now, the, the main thing about this bathroom is it's gigantic. On the other side, we have this X-Track wall that is so universal, uh, so versatile, it's unbelievable. Anything to be hung, and I'm gonna show you some things later that we put on. Now, normally, here's your normal track for your hanging clothes but anything can fit on here. We have everything from a RV washer and dryer. You see there's washer and dryer hookups here. You can hang bikes here. So 
just anything you need to do. There's all kinds of compartmental little units that hang more clothes or that have little boxes in them to put shoes or whatever. Got a 24 inch TV and again, massive amount of storage with these solid, these are metal. These are, so this is structurally built into the car. So this gives this van really good torsional rigidity. So we got all this room up here. Now, right here we have all the controls. First off, this one is for your tank monitoring system for your gray water tank and your fresh water tank. This thermostat here is for your domestic air conditioner. And this is something that we've added to this car that people have asked for. If you're in a really cold climate, you want some heat. And these little heaters that are in the air conditioners are not that great. So this one, we have a Webestos gasoline heater. Now that here's the thermostat for that, but that is located down here underneath of the passenger's front seat. And I can tell you, they will put out a massive amount of heat. So you could be parked somewhere overnight, sleeping somewhere in a cold climate, and it'll stay nice and toasty in here. Now, even though this does draw gasoline from the normal gas tank, it doesn't draw it down so that you can run out. It'll stop and the heater will shut off before your gas tank is empty and you don't have anything to get to the next point of destination. Up here, we also have controls for the the ceiling lights, your inverter switch, and you notice all the room we have underneath of these beds. Well, there's a way to access some of that room from right here under this bed, but if you want to put something larger, we have a, an electric motor that actually picks this bed up. It opens up a massive cavernous storage down here underneath of this bed and also gets the bed out of the way so you have even more room in here. So in here you can store pretty much anything. All your bedding, clothes, whatever you want can be stored in this area and this gives you a massive amount of room. Look at all the room you have in here. Look at any RV that's set up like this from anybody and you're not going to have this kind of room. I mean this extra nine inches just makes it very, very, very usable. A lot of nice little things, little touches. This is all stainless steel. We've got some hooks here in case you want to hang something from the kitchen. There's just little things here, like for your salt and pepper or spice rack. Of course, it comes with a shade to block out all uh, vision from the front part here. This seat turns around. And as I said, that table can be put right here on this, this one. And there's a plug right here also, so you can put your computer or something when you're in this position. Okay, so now I've swung the right front passenger seat around, and you see we've put a little step here for your feet. So if you're sitting in this position, then you can put the table here, eat. And as I said, there's a little plug right here for your computer or whatever you want to use. So let's go around and look at the back of the car and show you again this massive amount of room that's in the in the bathroom. First, as in our other pathway RV, you've got all your controls here. You've got your, your plug-in for camping, couple of plugs, and you can plug in your water here for freshwater inlet, and then you've got a cable access input right here. This is all right in this area. While I'm here, I want to show you these windows. These are German designed windows. They're very great. They're thermal pane polycarbonate. They stay in whatever position you put them in. And there's a beautiful privacy screen and a bug screen. pull this curtain around so you can see here's the little sink up here this is your fill of your fresh water here, here's your bathroom and here's the light for the bathroom and the nice thing with the bathroom in the back say you're somewhere and you got muddy boots you can pull your shower out and wash your boots off 
right here in the back without getting everything into your RV. Waterproof toilet paper holder. And again, this area, which has a max fan, your remote's right here for the max fan, right here in the bathroom. This area with the X-Track gives you great versatility. Like I say, we've got a water supply and an exhaust vent for your dryer if you put the washer dryer in here. So whatever, whatever you happen to be doing, you can take whatever equipment you need with you. If you want to take your bikes, you can put them here on the bike rack, hang, hanging clothes, whatever else you need. Very versatile. But look, all this is really nice stainless steel. This is very, very good flooring that doesn't show any dirt. You've got outlets back here. It's, you've got a smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector. Pretty much everything you need now this car also is equipped with an onan generator the new fuel injected one listen how quiet that is you can you can sleep at night without all that racket that the generators used to make turn it on shut it off here's your main power source and and your shut off for your refrigerator area this van is equipped with two large batteries and it's also set up if you want to ever change the lithium batteries the charging system which is underneath of the driver's seat is already set up so you could put lithium batteries in it if you choose these lights are really nice they come on when the doors are open you can turn them on and off individually or all of them here with this switch the reason we use the Ram is because it's front wheel drive and we can do all these underfloor tanks as a lower floor, more room inside, and it's front wheel drive where the Ford Transit and the Mercedes are rear wheel drive and have a drive shaft and you cannot do all this tanks and everything underneath. But I want to show you how really, really good this car drives. It drives like a large minivan. You can park them anywhere. They're very fuel efficient and we're going to drive it now.